Hi, seventh graders. This is your April book talk. Um, this month is poetry month. So I've selected some poetry books and books in verse. And then I just selected some, some books that either I have heard about or that I kind of liked or just that kind of stood out. Um, so here's a little bit about some of the books that we were that are selected for today. The first book in verse is called Forest World. You'll notice it actually won a poetry award right on it. This is by Margarita Inglid. It is a book level of a 6.9 worth three points. Sent to Cuba to visit the father he barely knows, Edgar is surprised to meet his sister Luza and together they plan to stop an animal smuggler they stumbled upon in the forest. So again, these books are going to be written in verse, in, in, in different types of poetic form. So this is the forest world. The next book is The Before the Ever After by Jacqueline Woodson. This is a 4.5 book level at th for three points. ZJ's friend, Ollie, Derry, and Dan Daniel help him cope with his father, a beloved professional football player, suffers severe headaches and memory loss that spell the end of his career before the ever after. Reaching for the Sun is by Tracy Zimmer. It's a 5.8 book level worth two points. Josie, who lives with her mother and grandmother, has cerebral palsy. She befriends a boy who moves into one of the rich houses behind her old farmhouse. Inside Out and Back Again has won both a National Book Award and a Newbery Honor Award. It's by Thea Lay. It's a book level of 4.8 worth two points. Through a series of poems, a young girl chronicles the life-changing year of 1975 when she, her mother, and her brothers leave Vietnam and resettle in Alabama. Two Girls Staring at a Ceiling by Lucy Frank. This is an upper grade level book of a 3.7 level worth three points. It's a novel in verse. Two very different girls bond while hospitalized with Crohn's disorder. Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Again, another upper grade level book at 5.2 level worth five points. A young girl in Harlem discovers slam poetry as a way to understand her mother's religion and her own relationship with the world. Poet X. It was uh, rated uh, one of the top books of a couple years ago. Quam Alexander has two books um, on today's list. Um, the first one is Crossover. This was a Newbery Award winner and a Coretta Scott win King or um, winner. It is a book level of a 4.3 at a middle grade level, or two points. 14-year-old twin basketball stars Josh and Jordan wrestle with highs and lows on and off the court as their father ignores his declining health. And then Rebound is a 4-point level at 4.3 level worth four points. Told through free verse, Chuck Demand Bell deals with the loss of his father, father and discovers basketball. Kaleidoscope Eyes by Jen Bryant is a book level of 5.6 worth five points. In 1968, with the Vietnam War raging, Liza inherits a project from her deceased grandfather who had been using his knowledge of maps and the geography of Liza's New Jersey hometown to locate the lost treasure of Captain Kidd. Now remember, all these books are in verse. It's gonna be poems telling the story. The next book is called The Lightning Dreamer. And this is by Margarita England. It is a, um, a middle grade plus book level of a 6.7 worth two points. You'll also notice that it won a, um, a Perma, Perma Bell Pierre um, honor book. Free verse evokes the voice of, of Gertrude, 
a book-loving writer and feminist and a abolitionist who courageously fought injustice in 19th century Cuba. Ellen Hopkins is the author of The You You'll Never Know, Have You've Never Known. This is, again, another upper book level book at 4.7 or 12 points in free verse. Ariel begins to explore while living with her controlling, abusive father, who has told Ariel that her mother deserted her years before. A lot of heavy, heavy stuff in this book. Again, another heavy subject with Ellen Hopkins is Crank. And again, these books are written in free verse for you to try to understand in, po in poetic form. Um, this is, again, an upper-level book. Um, at a four, three level worth five points. Um, visiting her absentee father, Christina's life turns upside down when he introduces her to the dark world of Crank. And that's for you to find out in the book. Remember, it is a very heavy subject. On Point. On Point is by Lori Ann Grover. It's a middle grade book level of a three worth five points. In this novel written in free verse, Claire and her grandfather must deal with the changes in their lives when Claire's summer growth spurts threatens to end her dream of becoming a ballet dancer when her grandfather suffers a stroke. Jenny Hubbard's book, And We Stay, is again another upper grade level book I have a 5.1 level at seven points. It was a Prince Honor book. Sent to a boarding school after her ex-boyfriend kills himself, Emily expresses herself through poetry as she relieves, relives her relationship, copes with her guilt, and begins to heal. And that is And We Stay. Sold is by Patricia McCormick. It's a upper level book at five points. After monsoons wash away her family's rice crop, La Kasumi is sold into prostitution by her grandfather. Most of these, um, you're finding most of these poetry books are, they're in free verse for a reason. Um, it, these, they're trying to find a way to cope with what has happened to them. And so they do it in free verse. Every Shiny Thing by Cordelia Jensen. Middle grade level at a 5.4 worth nine points. Lauren begins stealing to help children who like her brother are on the autism spectrum. Sierra is in foster care in Lauren's neighborhood. She fears will enable Lauren's law breaking. And there's a co-author on this one called Lauren Morrison. This Impossible Light is by Lily Myers. It has a middle grade plus book level of 4.9 worth four points. Ivy, feeling a lot of stress about her expanding body, her parents' divorce, and her best friend's distance develops an eating disorder. Again, I cannot relish enough that these poetry books can have some very heavy topics. So consider them before you check them out. So my extra books, I wanted to pick some fun things that you may are familiar with, maybe you're not. Most of you are familiar with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. So if you haven't read The Hunger Games, now's a great opportunity to do this. You know, it's set in a dystopian uh, type of situation while, while they are trying to survive this competition, Katniss and and, the, and everybody else that's all involved in the Hunger Games. So this is that first book. Um, those of us, those of you that just love that Netflix series to all the boys I have loved, guess what? Remember, it has a book format behind it by Jenny Han. This is the first book of that series. Now I'm going to throw one at you that I haven't talked about in a while. This one's called No Safety in Numbers. This is by Dana Lorenza. Um, it is a middle middle grade plus book level of 5.0 and it's worth nine points. 
A busy mall is quarantined after a biological warm bomb is discovered, and as people get sick and supplies begin to run low, four teenagers are trapped inside and have to find a way to cope with the situation. This is the first book in this series. It's a very intriguing book. Evermore is by Allison Noel. It is an upper grade level book worth from a 5.8 level worth 13 points. Since the car accident that claimed the lives of her family, Ever sees auras and hears people's thoughts. She goes out of her way to hide from other people until she meets Damon, another psychic teenager who is hiding even more. This has some immor uh, immortality in it, and a, they use some elixirs and to keep their immortality going. It's, it's a, a really fun imaginary book. Now, if you guys, if you've read Star Girl, which I know a lot of times you guys are at that age that you do, you know that Star Girl has a companion book called Love Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. Again, it is another upper level book worth eight points. Still moping months after being dumped by her Arizona boyfriend Leo, 15 year old Star Girl, a homeschooled free spirit, writes the world's longest letter to Leo describing her life in Pennsylvania. Love Star Girl. And if you loved Star Girl and Love Star Girl, you should try Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Set over the course of one school year in 1986, this novel focuses on two star-crossed misfits who are smart enough to know that first love almost never lasts, but brave and desperate enough to give it a try. Um, there's a little bit of craziness that goes on in it um, that gets a little tough and hard to deal with, but it is, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a good book. One Moment is by Ohio author Christina McBride. It is another upper grade level book. Maggie remembers little about the accidental death of her boyfriend, but as she slowly begins to recall that day, she realizes he was keeping some terrible secrets. One moment. And What I Carry, this was one of the books that was nominated this year for a top teen books. Jennifer, it's by Jennifer Longo. It's an upper grade level out of 4.6 worth 12 points. In her final year in foster care, Muriel tries to survive her senior year before aging out of the system. So this is a person that she's carrying around the weight of the world because soon she's going to be taken out of foster care. She doesn't know what's going to happen. So what I carry. All right, guys, uh, that is your book selections for this month. Um, if you guys need more books for next month, because I can still probably deliver some to you on the first week of May. Um, hopefully next fall, you guys, since you guys will be eighth graders, hopefully you'll be able to come back to the library and things will be more normal because um, we miss seeing all of the classes. We really do. And it's so much easier to help get a book in your hand if you're actually here. So um, if you guys need anything from me, let me know. All right. See ya.